beer drinker. You yeah, know? I know. Good afternoon, and welcome back to another edition of the Lost Tigers Weekly Beer Review. I'm here today with bar owner Clinton O'Brien. Clinton, what are we trying today? We're trying Burton Baton, Dogfish Heads, Oak Aged, Indian, and Pale Ale, Imperial, Wood, 10% alcohol. Sounds good. It says it's a two third blend of young and wood aged Imperial IPA. Sounds like my dating life before I was married. <laughs> well, I'm personally a big fan of the Dogfish Head. 90 minute, 120 minute IPA, so let's give this one a shot. You guys know what 80 year old cooters <laughs> taste like? Depends. <laughs> we'll get back to that later. <laughs> Go ahead. That's awesome. Well, it smells like beer. <laughs> yeah, it's got that sweet. Damn, that is gorgeous. You know what that reminds me a lot of? That Midas touch. Yep. Just aged this, in an oak barrel. Uh-huh. But the, that, you know, this one's just got that wood flair that gives off, really takes it off. Yeah. I might have to shut this off. We're gonna do something naughty with this beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just take two. We don't even have to go into the introduction. We can just go into whatever. Yeah, we can edit it later. Well, yeah, we're, we're going now. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, uh, if you haven't had the dogfish Burton Baton, you can find it here exclusively at the Lost Hiker until somebody copies us. But we got it here. Turn it here first. Yeah, you're here, here first. Burton Baton. Tasted it here first. Damn right. Okay, it's here first. You know, I think we're gonna have to try another one to get the full effect. Yeah, that one didn't work very well. No, no, no. <laughs> Cameraman. Yeah. Welcome back to our weekly edition of the Lost Hikers Beer Review. We just reviewed the Burton Baton, which is an oak aged Imperial. beer, Imperial IPA, IPA yeah, 10%. And I made comment that it reminded me of the Midas Touch. So here's a little bit about the Midas Touch. Clinton, tell us something about this beer. Well, this one's an interesting beer because the owner of Dogfish, rumor has it, went over to Egypt did some kind of excavation, and uh, all he wanted was the base inside the tube. They analyzed all the ingredients, got this stuff, uh, and figured out it was white musket grapes, saffron, honey, and barley. So he went out to make this handcrafted ancient ale with the Midas Touch. It's uh, another high grab, it's 9% alcohol, if I may. Please. Uh, it's not quite like your other beers, just because of the muscadite grape, and who the fuck uses saffron? You know? That's Ancient expensive. Egyptians? Saffron's expensive. Nobody wants to play with that stuff. It smells like beer. Mm. You always, yeah, yeah. I like that. This one has a weird smell to it, though. It doesn't smell like every beer. It smells, immediately you smell the honey and the saffron coming off the beer. It's almost like a wine, like a, like a barley wine. And if I'm not mistaken, when Midas Touch first came out, it was a 13% beer and was considered and classified as a barley wine. But they dropped it down a little bit so we can get it in the stores because we couldn't sell it over 12. Mmm. I gotta say that you're right about that wine thing. Yeah, almost like a high-end champagne. Yeah, the way the bubbles roll off your tongue, it's like champagne. It is like champagne. You know? How many of these do you think you could drink before you were drunk? Two. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that's a ten percent almost. Jesus. Like, and there you have it, folks. Two beers and drunk at the Lost Hiker with Minus Touch and Dogfish Brewery. Thank you. We'll see you again next week. Yep. Okay. So, welcome back to the weekly beer review at the Lost Hiker. I'm Tim Dirk, Clinton O'Brien, owner of the Lost Hiker. And Clinton, what is our third beer we're reviewing this afternoon? Well, third beer for the week, final beer that we're going to review this week is out of Victory Brewery. It's called Dirt Wolf Double IPA. Dirt Wolf. Woo! I just like yeah. the name of it. Dirt <laughs> Wolf. Uh, it's got a nice color. Really pours nice golden. Clinton, can you tell me something about a double IPA? All I know is it's probably twice as many hops as a traditional IPA. But other than that, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> well, I've heard rumor that IPAs, Indian Pale Ale, got their name from British sailors trying to sail around the Horn, Africa to India 
So this is like their a, beer was going bad before they got there. So they started what? Double hopping? Double hopping, double duty, double, double hopping. dipping. So this is kind of a quadruple hopped beer then. Yeah. Alright. Let's give it a shot. It's got a nice color. It's got a little cloudiness to it as well. You could that's probably the doubleness. We'll cheers, man. Smells like beer. <laughs> That's hoppy. That's an IPA. It's got a nice, distinct, sour taste. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I'm a little... Uh, I'm even a little smell. I, I thought this was going to be a little bit hoppier. You know, for a double IPA and calling yourself Dirt Wolf, which is a pretty badass name. <laughs> Dirt Wolf. This thing should bite you back. And it doesn't. No, but it's easy to drink. Full of flavor. It's like a one and a half IPA, I would say. Mm -hmm. Or a two IPA. Not a double you know, IPA. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's like, come on, call it what it is, guys. Damn dirt wolf. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad beer. It's just not that kind of beer, and it's going to send you... This just isn't your... a real IPA drinker's beer. No, yeah, exactly. This is more of a, a girl's IPA, yeah, yeah. if I had this to This is say. a beer for me. You know, this is not a beer for me. <laughs> this is a guy that has a clean, shaved face. This is the kind of beer. Girl IPA. <laughs> I would, right. I, I would go with, uh, not what we, we've been interrupted on the set. Yeah, I told you. Uh, yep. Oh, oh. Dean, I'm getting ready to proposition you. Oh, this nice. is proposition. That's what we like right. to hear. Uh, are we rolling? <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. Jen Smathers here. Um, the Cunning Ham. <laughs> she just walked in on this. Um, you know, she's got... Our first guest. Yeah. Well, Our first guest is the show. Right. 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 We can review you. Thank you. Thank you. Bring you the celebrity status in this town. Tell him to try some Dirt Wolf. <laughs> yeah, Dirt Wolf is uh, our new beer. We're, we're giving it a review, we're giving it a taste. Uh, double IPA. Do you do IPAs? I don't do beer. She doesn't do beer, folks. And she doesn't do IPA. Okay. But will you give it a taste and give us a try? It's very fruity. Woo! There we go. There you go. Right? Right. First drink woman beer. walked in the bar, already likes the smell. I would drink Woman IPA! <laughs> <laughs> hey, we were right, man. <laughs> I won't drink this beer anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we are done with this. You'll yeah, never yeah, see yeah. Dirt Wolf in the Lost Hacker again. Definitely not. No, it's very hoppy, but floral kind of tastes a little honey on the end. Mm. And that's the end of our guest. She's trying to take our spots here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jay, you're going to have to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We'll see you next week at the Lost Hacker.